Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and I make mommy and lifestyle videos and it's been a long time since I've posted a video but um, we've had a really busy summer, a really fun summer, chasing around my one and a half year old baby and so it's been a really great time but um, I've been wanting to make some videos back on my channel and uh, catch you all up on our TTC journey since we are trying to conceive baby number two and so this video is just going to be about how to properly use ovulation test strips which is one of the methods that I've been using to pinpoint when I'm ovulating therefore increasing our chances of getting pregnant with baby number two. So let's just jump right into how to use ovulation test strips for anyone that's kind of questioning what's the best way to use them, um, how many tests you need to take, when to take them, when to start taking your ovulation predictor test strips, and kind of the most cost effective way to use these strips. So first let's talk about which ones I use. I have mentioned this in a previous video, but I use these. Um, they are just called wand faux strips and they come in a pack of 50 on Amazon for around $15 plus or minus a dollar or two. Um, but yeah, you get 50 of them for that price, which is really good because as many of you probably know, if you go to Walgreens or Walmart and try and get ovulation test strips there, they're going to run you quite a bit of money, but if you get in bulk on Amazon, um, 50 of them, that'll last you a few months, so at least it's only about $15, and it should last you about four months or so. Um, so that's what I use, and um, I've got a whole bunch of them here. Actually, this is kind of getting towards the end of my pack of 50, and I've been testing for, let's see, four or five months now, so this will probably last me this last month. Um, and then if I don't get pregnant this month, I'll have to order a few more, which is fine. Um, so the reason I started testing that long ago, we've only been trying to conceive for one month is how long we've been trying to conceive. So this is month two for us. But I did start testing before we were trying to conceive because I wanted to figure out when I was ovulating. Um, so I also take my temperature every day. I've talked about that in previous videos. If you want to check out my temp drop video, um, I will link that down below. But the temp drop is what I use to take my temperature each morning. And that will help me determine when I'm not fertile and when I've already ovulated. But it doesn't exactly tell you when you are about to ovulate. And so there's a few ways to pinpoint that, and the one I'm going to talk about today is by using these inexpensive test strips. So I started testing about four or five months ago, and that way I could pinpoint when I'm going to get that peak surge in the um, LH hormone, which is called the luteinizing hormone, short for that is LH. And so what you're doing is you're trying to pinpoint that surge each month and so that will kind of show you the pattern in your cycle of when you're ovulating. For me I figured out using these test strips that I have that surge of the luteinizing hormone on cycle day 16 of my menstrual cycle. Once you have that surge within about 24 hours is when your um, egg will be released and you will have ovulated. So that really shortens that time frame down for you to know almost exactly when you're gonna ovulate within about a day. Well, first thing we need to figure out is if you're using these ovulation strips is when to start testing. An easy rule of thumb is let's say you have a 30 day menstrual cycle. You wanna take 30 and subtract 17 from that. So if you have a 30 day cycle, you'll subtract 17 and you will start testing on day 13 of your cycle. So I'm just gonna throw up a chart right here and it'll kind of show you like how long your cycle is and what day you should start testing. Just as like an easy rule of thumb, you can look at this chart that I'll have um, right up here in the corner. For me, my cycles are, uh, they're 27 days. 
And so I start testing on day 10 of my cycle, or at least I did when I was first trying to use ovulation strips properly. So on day 10, you want to use two of these. So you're gonna test once in the morning and once in the evening. It doesn't have to be your first morning urine. However, depending on the brand of ovulation tests you get, some of them say specifically don't use your first morning urine and some say the opposite. So look at the test that you have and just um, make sure that you're reading the instructions properly. But for mine, it doesn't really specify. So I won't use my first morning urine, but I'll test sometime in the morning and then I will test again later in the evening. And I'll do that twice a day until I start to see a um, a rise in the LH that these are testing for. The thing about um, these ovulation test strips that's very different from like a pregnancy test is that in order for it to be considered a positive test, you actually want your test line to be significantly darker than the control line that's always going to pop up. So you know how with pregnancy tests, if you even have a faint line in your test line and a dark line in your control line, as long as you see two stripes, then you're pregnant, it's not the same with LH ovulation tests. You need your test line to be darker than the control line or else it's considered a negative test. And so these kind of show a, a bit of a graphic of that. I'm not sure if it'll focus for you but it does kind of specify that until the test line is darker, it's not considered positive. So you're gonna keep testing. So let's say I started on day 10, day 11, day 13, they're all very negative. Then by about day 14, I start to see a little bit of a rise in the pinkness of the um, test line. Day 15, they're getting closer, maybe even almost the same color or same darkness. And then by day 16, that's when I'll start to see the test line darker than the control line. But once you get really close to when you're gonna ovulate, you wanna increase your tests from taking it twice a day to taking it almost every three hours. Um, so that way you don't miss when you're gonna get that um, spike in the LH hormone because for some women you only have that spike for a short period of time and for some women it lasts like 12 hours that you have that but until you know how your body works I would say the first month once you start to get your um, test line and control line pretty dark then you're going to want to start testing every three hours until you have your peak LH and then keep testing every three hours and then it'll start to slowly decline where you'll see the test line lighter than the control line again. And that's when you know it's over, your body had that um, peak in the LH hormone and you are about to ovulate within 24 hours of that darkest test that you took. So how do you keep track of all this stuff? Because <laughs> um, that's a lot of tests that you're taking, especially once you get into the time where you're taking them a lot more closer together, like every three hours or so. So what I would recommend is something called the Pre-Mom app, P-R-E-M-O-M -M app. Just go on your phone, it's free. You can download this app and then you can actually, every time you take a test, take a picture of it and it will automatically calculate for you what it predicts your LH hormone levels to be and it will tell you which one it, it thinks is the darkest, which one is your peak. And so I will just post a graphic here of um, my pre-mom app experience and show you all my test strips. And you can see on there which one is shown as the peak. And you can put as many test strips in there as you need to. And once you um, go to the next cycle, you can easily start another cycle of um, LH test strips for the next month. It keeps it all really organized and nice and that way it records exactly what it thinks is your peak and you'll have that for reference for the next coming months to make sure that there's a consistent day or within a day or two of when you're getting those positive um, test strips. If you have any questions about how to properly use LH strips, 
just ask me down below in the comments and um, subscribe to my channel if you are interested in our uh, trying to conceive journey coming up and um, any sort of pregnancy or um, baby related videos in the future. And with that said, I will see you all in my next video. Thanks so much for watching and take care.